Before you begin, you'll need to turn your power off at the circuit breaker. Confirm the power is off by flipping the switch you're going to replace on and off. Typically, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver, a pair of pliers, and a piece of electrical tape to do the job. You'll also need a wall box adapter plate to install the Pico in a wall box. First, unscrew your existing switch from the wall. On a standard three-way switch, you should have three wires connected to the switch plus a ground wire. Make sure that you have a neutral wire connection in the wall. Most newer, mid-80s homes on have neutrals in each wall box, which are usually white wires in the back of the box. If you don't have a neutral wire, check the installation guide to see if the neutral wire is required. This connection is optional for some products. Before disconnecting your old switch, look at the screw colors on the sides of the switch. Use a piece of electrical tape to tag the wire connected to the screw that is a different color than the remaining two. Knowing which wire this is will be important when installing your new dimmer. In this video, we're using a Caseta dimmer. However, these instructions apply to all other products that have these same color wires. Use a wire cap to connect the ground to the green wire on your new control. If you do not have a ground wire in this wall box, simply place a cap on the green wire on the dimmer. Connect the tag wire to the black wire on the dimmer using a wire cap. Connect the other two wires from the old switch together along with the red wire under a single wire cap. You don't need the blue wire for this application, so place a small wire cap on it. Then, connect the white wire to the neutral wires in your wall box if applicable. If you do not have a neutral wire in the wall box, and your installation guide states the neutral connection is optional, simply place a wire cap on the white wire on your new control. Screw the controls back into the wall and add the wall plates. Now we can install your Pico remote in the other location. Before turning the power back on, remove the switch in the remaining location, place a small wire cap on the ground wire. Then, take the remaining three wires from the old switch and connect them together under a single wire cap. Tuck the wires back into the wall box. Secure the wall plate bracket to the wall box by inserting the mounting screws through the holes of the bracket into the wall box.
Remove the plastic insert from the back of the Pico remote and slide the Pico remote onto the wall plate bracket. Screw the controls back into the wall and add the wall plates.